What's going on guys? In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down the fund and like what happens uh, when we put $100,000 into high ticket coaching agency or um, consulting offers and then kind of the process of what it looks like, how we split uh, profits up with the investor, you, us, and then just how that all works. And then also what you need to do to actually build a vehicle worth investing in because a lot of you watch this video right now probably don't even have all your stuff dialed in. I actually know majority of you don't because most businesses don't. And what you got to understand is that if you're trying to have extraordinary revenue, which making a hundred K a month or even 50 K per month is extraordinary revenue. That is top 1% of the world. Okay. Now I know a lot of people downplay it and you know, we've worked with businesses that do half a million dollars a month and stuff like that. Like I know when you look at those numbers, it's like 50 K a hundred K a month doesn't seem as much, but it really is. That's top 1%, right? And if you want to get there, like genuinely, you have to have a machine that has everything working together hand in hand. And it needs to be one profitable, two in the right industry, have a good offer, good ads, good sales systems, all that. And I'm going to break down literally everything in this video today. Okay. Now, not going to go super in depth with all the, the stuff I'm going to show you because that's just not possible. It would literally take me days and weeks of time. You can go watch other videos if you'd like, but in this specific video, I really want to break down the fund and kind of what it takes. Okay. So, um, this is, this is in a nutshell <laughs> guys. I know I'm going to make, I'm going to oversimplify this. Um, cause that's, that's how I like explaining things. I don't want to, you know, scare you guys with all the technicals, which I'll show you guys here in a little bit, but, um, I just want to give you the high level overview. So really all we need is an app, right? That is, you know, sending people to a funnel, right? And they're watching a VSL, which is stands for video sales letter. If you didn't know that. Um, and basically it's just a 10 to 20 minute video selling people on why they should work with you, what you do, and then getting them to book a call below. And then you guys have definitely seen ads like this if you've been in the space. And then once they book a call, they're going to be speaking to a closer. Now the closer is good. Now, and guys, I'm not gonna, I'm not going to oversimplify it like this to where I'm explaining what a closer is and the setter is. If that is where you're at right now, you're not even ready for any of this. Like you're not even close. Like this is for people who have actual businesses or offers, but they're missing a lot of stuff to genuinely have a machine that can run without them. Okay. So if you're not doing, you know, at least five to 10 K per month, click off this video. It's not for you. Um, unless you just want to watch it for learning purposes. Okay. That, that's fine too. Uh, but long story short, we have an ad, we send people to a funnel slash a VSL. And then in between this, if they don't book a call, we have a setter book the call. And then once they book a call, we have them show up to the call and then the closer close the call. If they don't show up, we have follow up sequences, all this stuff. And by the way, just to show you how I'm oversimplifying this, these are just examples of the system. So this is what the uh, setter would do in the scenario of book a call, didn't book a call. There's specific processes, certain scripts, certain um, times in between following up and stuff like that. Um, how we nurture them, what we say, making group chats, like sending them to a group. Like there's a bunch of stuff that we do. KPI tracking sheets for follow ups. Um, literally, just so much stuff. I just, I just, I just don't want you guys to be looking at this and like, oh, this is all it takes to, to grow a business. No, there's a lot to it. Okay, I'm just trying to give you the high level overview. Like I already said, there's obviously a bunch of stuff that makes uh, that comes into play when actually making these things actually work at scale specifically. Okay, so we look for offers, and if you don't have this this in your, if you don't have this right now, um, you need to. This literally needs to be your focus. Period, and I'll explain this in a second. But we look for businesses to invest into that have a current three to six return on ad spend. Now, that means for every dollar you put in, you get three to six dollars out. So every thousand dollars you put into this machine, you get 3K to 6K out. You basically have a legal money printer. Now, the reason you want to figure this out, and this would be the only focus of your, uh, um, your that's where all your attention should be going as the business owner. Guys, because if you can put a dollar in and get three to six dollars out, you can hire everybody to do everything else. You have a legal money printer. You have unlimited money almost like not literally, but you guys get my point that I'm trying to make. Once you have a machine that can run without you and it's turning a dollar into three to $6 out, you can, you don't have to worry about fulfillment. You don't have to worry about getting clients. You don't have to worry about doing the ads. You don't have to worry about doing the sales team because you now have money coming in. You can hire everybody to do stuff for you. You're not going to grow your business by yourself. And how can you get other people to work for you by paying them? 
And so that's why when you build a machine that you can put a dollar in and get $3 out or $6 out, you have so much leverage. You literally rule. Like you can give, you could just put a dollar in, get three to five out, take that three to five dollars, hire people to make you more money, hire more people to make you more money. That's how you grow a business. When you look at top companies, what do they have? Hundreds and hundreds of employees. Why? Because that's what's needed to actually scale a business. So the quicker you can hire other people to do stuff that you're not good at, the sooner you're going to win and take over in your industry. And so how do you, how do you get people to want to work for you? Well, one, do good stuff, do cool stuff. But the main thing is pay people. People want money. And so when you have a money printer like this, you can just go out and hire a bunch of people to do everything. And I'm going to get into all this as well. But guys, having capital, people, time, or attention is leverage. And when you have capital, you can pay for attention. You can also pay for people. And so it's literally game over. And you, you can save your time because you're having people do stuff for you. And that's why just getting capital is your number one focus as an entrepreneur. If you're focused on anything else, you're wasting time. You should only be focusing on acquisition. Now, I know you're like, Brendan, but that's unethical because I need to focus on my fulfillment. No, you don't. Hire someone else to do your fulfillment because you have money to hire people that could do your fulfillment better than you could. You guys get what I'm saying? That's why literally you should not be focusing on anything else in your business besides dialing in paid ads and getting a machine to where you could throw a dollar in and get three to six out. Every There's no problem you can't solve and there's no amount of, there, there's nothing you can't hire. When you have a certain amount of money, there's, there's no amount of problems that you can't pay to be solved and there's no amount of um, people that you can hire. You can hire unlimited people. You can hire, you can fix unlimited problems. You can do unlimited tasks because you have so much money to pay people to go do that stuff for you. If you're not thinking like this, then you're, you, then you shouldn't be a business owner and you're not going to be a successful business owner because you need to realize you're not going to grow a business without people. You cannot just do it by yourself. I screwed this up for so long. I'm like, Hey, I just want hundred percent of my business. I want to, you know, get to seven figures a month and just give nothing uh, to anybody. Well, well, obviously that that's not what I thought, but a lot of people think like that, but they're like, you know, I just want to keep all the money for myself. You're not going to get to six to seven figures a month. If that's how you operate and you don't have a team, it's period. The end, not going to work. Already tried it many, many times wasted years of my life. Well, I didn't waste it. Cause I learned that, that important, uh, fundamental in business, but you're getting to hear it from me right now for free. And just telling you how it is. And, that, and guys, don't just take my word for it. Go listen to Alex Ramosi, Warren Buff. Go listen to the top people in the space. Go listen to billionaires. They will tell you that you need to focus on acquisition because once you have that dialed in, you can then just pay people to do all the other stuff. And now you actually have a business that's a valuable asset. And so literally, I know you're like, how do I grow my business? How do I grow my business? Attention, sales. Now, how can you do that predictably? Ads. It's the most scalable way. You have a competitor in your industry right now doing this exact process right here. And they're making six to seven plus figures a month. And what are you making? Five, 10, 20, 30K a month, 50K per month? You have someone right now absolutely 10Xing, 20, 30, 40Xing your revenue doing this right here, nine times out of 10. So why are you trying to do anything else other than this? You wanna be a business owner. You wanna be a big shot. Okay, figure this out. That's it. That's literally it. Now, I'm going to go into the fun part. <laughs> now, I just wanted to preface the, the entire thing by saying this. is like, you need to focus on this. You get this dialed in, now we can talk about the fun. But you need this dialed in. You need to start getting a 2 to 3 to 6x return, spending $1,000. Like, if you come to me and you're like, hey, man, I spent 3000 this month and I got 10 k in sales. All right, let's talk about the fun because now you might qualify right? We're going to have to like your offer and all this stuff as well, but now you might qualify. So, and honestly, I don't even want to jump the gun. Let me actually show you guys what it takes before I get into the fund, what it actually takes to have this dialed in, right? Because this is also what you need in order to, to do the fund, or I could do the fund first and then get into that. Um, but yeah, let's honestly just do this because I'm already on the topic. So I know you looking at this, you're like, all oh, right, it's simple. No, it's really not. It takes a lot of stuff. It takes a lot of systems. This is just sales right here. Then we've got paid marketing. Then we've got talent, all the actual SOPs for all the roles. 
Roll by roll, all of these training videos, training, training, training for all the roles, all the roles, all the systems, fulfillment, acquiring the talent, paid marketing, ads, sales, literally the whole shebang. It's not just get a winning ad. Like there's a lot more to it, but we've luckily worked with loads of coach agency consultants in this space and also scaled, scaled our own offers. We work with people that have done up to 500K per month or even one of our clients that we've helped, you know, staff sales reps for and help them on that side of things. He's hit a million dollars a month, right? So we've worked with everyone from 5K per month all the way up to a million plus per month, right? So we've kind of seen it all and we know what it takes, right? So this is all you need. So this is where you're currently at, your current revenue. Where are you trying to get? Six to seven plus figures a month. This is what's holding you back. This is everything for marketing. This is everything for sales. This is all you need, okay? Now, once again, there's obviously a lot more that goes into it, right? It's not super simple, but this is the simple overview. These are like the things that you need to have dialed in. I'm not going to go over what the specific specifics of each thing is and what needs to happen for it to work. Let me just show you the high level overview. For marketing wise, you need one winning offer slash package. You need one offer, one really good offer. But it's hard for people to say no to. You need one winning ad. You need one ad that's good. One video of you saying whatever that's good and gets a lot of clicks and hits certain KPIs marketing wise. You need one winning funnel, right? You need a funnel that hits specific um, view to book rate. You, there's certain KPIs for your funnel as well. I'm not going to get into all that in this video. I, I, like I said, I don't want to overwhelm you. You need one winning VSL, a 10 to 20 minute video of someone watching a video and be like, da da da, you should check out my offer, click link below and uh, book a call. You need one really good VSL, just one. And you need a good media buyer. Whether you're doing the media buying or you're having someone else do the media buying, which I'm not even really working on my own media buying, I, I pay experts to do my stuff. If you guys are wondering, like all these people that are doing six, seven plus figures a month, they're not doing their stuff. They're not doing their media buying usually. They're not managing their sales team. They're definitely not setting deals. They're definitely not taking phone calls. They don't have time. They're not doing that stuff. So if you want to build a big business, why are you trying to do everything? It just makes zero sense. If the people doing six, seven plus figures a month, which is where you want to be, are delegating all this stuff and building out the right machine, what, what are you doing? Why are you not doing that? Right? And so, and you might be like, well, I don't have enough money. I can't hire all these good people. That is a misconception as well. You could just give these people a percentage. You give a media buyer a small percentage of, of uh, profits in exchange for doing all of your ads. You could hire setters and closers. They're already commission basis only. You could hire a good sales manager. You don't have to pay them seven to eight K per month like other companies may have to do for a sales manager. You could just give them a percentage of what the sales team that he manages does. You don't have to spend 30, 40 K per month in overhead to have a good team. You just need enough revenue to incentivize people and give them a percentage of your business, not equity. They don't need to own it. Just give them a percentage of what they bring you revenue wise. If you bring me hundred K, I'll give you a percentage. Wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? And so that's why you could literally build an entire company on a commission basis only. And you don't have to pay them every single month. That's what I do. That's what a lot of top people do. Now, obviously, people, some people do base pay plus percentage. Some people just do salary. But if you're below 50K per month or you're at 50 to 100K per month or 100 to 200K per month, the, the salary stuff doesn't make sense. That's like corporate size. Commission only. Run the commission. Give everyone a cut. Because I'm telling you right now, if you want a big business, you have to be willing to give up some percentages of the pie. Otherwise, you're screwed. You're not going to ever build a business. Like straight up. Don't even think about it. So don't be like, I want 100K per month, but I want it to myself. Just turn off your business. It's not going to work. <laughs> like I'm telling you, I try, like so many people at the top say this and I tried this for years. Like it just doesn't work. I never really grew my business. Like the most, the time I made the most money in my businesses is when I had the most people on my team straight up. Because when you have people focusing on individual things like the media buying or setting or closing versus one person trying to do it all. It's just crazy focus. And that's what grows a business is focus and ba mental bandwidth and time and energy put into something. And so that's why you need to build a team. Anyways, so good media buyer. The goal of this phase, just to dial in your marketing, is to get 10 to 20 plus qualified book appointments on autopilot with a scalable machine. 
which is paid ads. Because if you can put a dollar in and get five out, why the hell would you need to do anything else? That's all you need to focus on. Very, very, very practical to look at it like that. Okay. Sales, right? You need to, some good pre nurture content. I'm not saying you need a YouTube channel or an entire free training, but you need maybe one or two videos that is in between the lead booking and call before they get to the sales call. They need some stuff to watch, right? Um, you need good sales systems. Guys, I'm not gonna go super in depth with this. I'm not gonna break it all down, but I, it's not just, oh, I need a CRM. Okay, I got my sales. No, there's so much more than just having a CRM. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry, this, I find this funny because I'll, I'll have beginners. They're like, I have my sales systems dialed in. I have my marketing dialed in. How much are you doing a month? 3K? Oh yeah, it's real dialed in, buddy. Yep. And then they'll be like, oh, look at my sales systems. They're dialed in. I got a CRM. That's like one tenth of what you need. Like people just underestimate what it actually takes to grow a business. And it's, it's good and bad. It's good because it gets people to start a business, but it's bad because most people quit when they realize how much it actually takes. So either be every, either be willing to do it or be willing to pay people to do it or give them a percentage to do it. Otherwise you're literally just screwed. Okay. But long story short, um, you need sales team assets and I'm talking like KPI trackers, uh, end of day reporting. Um, uh, let's see, uh, follow up trackers, CRMs, just a bunch of different stuff onboarding SOPs, management training, literally everything. Like I'm not going to, I'd overwhelm you if I went into depth with everything. Okay. Like I said, I'm not going to do that. I said it like nine times. Anyways, now you need good setters to take the leads and book appointments. Now you need a good closer to take the appointments and close deals. And now you need a good sales manager to manage the closers and manage the setters. Now, I, I see a lot of business owners trying to do be the sales manager. I also see a lot of business owners trying to be the setter and closer. Stupid. Just get someone that's better than you at sales. And also, you have no idea how to manage the sales team. I had a guy the other day, I kid you not, tell me. I'm like, hey, like, what do you know about managing the sales team? He's like, Bro, I'm like an expert at that. I'm like, awesome, man. Like how many, how much revenue has the sales team that you've done? I'm assuming like seven, eight figures or what? He's like, no, man, I've just managed myself as a closer. I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> like the, this is why there's no competition. There, there's business owners that think like that. I'm like, okay, buddy. Adios, man. <laughs> go, go manage yourself. See you, brother. <laughs> and they have no idea. They just, it's just crazy how much people underestimate um, what it actually takes. Um, but anyways, you need a good sales manager. You can't do this yourself. You literally can't. Otherwise, you're never going to scale. You also can't take your phone calls. Otherwise, you're never going to scale. You also can't. Well, you could be your media buyer, but th that's only if you're good. If you're not good, don't do not do this. And like, if you're not good, we're not even going to consider funding you. Now, this just leads me into the funding. Okay. In order to have a three to six X return on your ads, it's not just having a good ad. You need to have... Everything I just showed you right here, dialed in. This is what this is what creates a machine that can get a three to six X return. So when I say you need to figure out paid ads and get to three to six X return to where you can put a dollar in and get three to six out. I'm not telling you to just go make a, a golden ad that's going to make you rich. That's just one part. You need all this. Otherwise, you're screwed. You don't have a business until you have this period the end. You don't have a business until you have this. And if you don't have this, I know damn well the answer to the question I'm about to ask you, could you walk away from your business for three months? And if so, would it grow? Matter of fact, would it even be alive? If the answer is no to either of those questions, then you don't have a business. Now, if you did have this stuff dialed in, you have people to run your business with you and for you. You don't have to do anything. Like there's obviously some stuff that you could do like fulfillment stuff, but you can even delegate that. Like, how do you think there's, you know, people like us, like people with venture capital firms or people that are billionaires. How do you think they own hundreds of businesses? They build teams inside each business. And so what you need to figure out is how to build a team, not for a hundred businesses, but just for one business, your business. And once you do that, you actually now have a business. I'm tired of people saying, oh, I have a business and I do 20K per month. No, you don't because you're doing the setting. You're doing the closing. You're being the sales manager of yourself. You're doing the media buying. You're making the content. You're creating the ads. Dude, you just have a glorified high paying job. You don't have a business until you have this. You have, it's not a valuable asset. No one would buy your business if you're doing all this stuff. No one wants to invest in your business if you're doing all this stuff.
because it's too reliant on you. Sorry, I'm going on a rant because a lot of people need to understand this. So that leads me into actually getting an investment from us if we're like in getting considered for an investment. So once you have this three to six X return, because you've got all this stuff dialed in, right? You now, let's say hypothetically, we like, we like what your offer. We like your systems. We make sure you have good setters and closers. We made sure you had a good sales manager. We made sure you had a good media buyer. And by the way, if you work with our team at RubConnect, We'll literally build your entire sales team, commission basis only, right? We'll build the whole team and manage it all on a commission basis. You don't have to touch anything. And also we have people who have literally spent millions of dollars in ads that can also assist you with your media buying as well on a percentage basis only. Or you can pay them, but they're down to do it on a percentage if you, if you have a good offer. With that being said, our, uh, us, we can literally do this entire part right here for you. We can do all this for you. You don't even have to do it. But we're looking for you to get the ground started. We're wanting you to actually validate your offer. And so you need to do a lot of the legwork in the beginning. Like if you if you don't have any revenue right now, you're not worth like you have to you have to put in some work. Like we can't just do everything for you. Otherwise, why would we why would we pick you? Like if you have, if you come to us with I mean even 5k a month in revenue. And you're like, hey, just build my business. No, we're just going to focus on our business. And we, you know, we're already making a bunch of money. What, why are you worth our attention? And if you came in the business and we're just doing everything for you, why don't I'm, we're just going to fire you? What are you doing? <laughs> right? So at that point, you need to build a lot of this like with us or yourself. You need to understand a lot of this stuff. Otherwise, you're just going to get you're just going to get beat. But if you work with like us with where we have, you know, we build your entire sales team on commission basis only. And we also have people that can do your media buying on a commission base only. I mean, we can help you dial all this in. That's not a problem, right? But hypothetically, or not ideally, you guys are getting a three to six X plus return. Now, once you have that, we're willing to throw up to 100K plus in ad spend if we like your offer, if we think your sales team's dialed in, if we think your sales systems are dialed in, especially if we're doing it for you, we already know they're dialed in, right? Because we're doing it for you on a commission base only and we're already helping you scale up your offer. Now it's just pouring more uh, money into the vehicle and the machine that's already producing positive cash flow. And so at that point, we'll throw 100K in, we'll say hypothetically, our investors would. And then we're going to be doing ad spend around 15 to 30K plus per month. We're going to be spending $15,000 to $30,000 per month on your ads. Because at this point, you would have already had a winning ad and a winning offer, right? You would have already had a winning funnel. You already have a winning VSL. You already have a good media buyer. You already have good setters and closers to take and handle all the leads. You already have someone managing them that's really good at management and leadership. And so at that point, it's like, let's throw some money in it. We've got everything built. Let's let's just keep printing. Let's just put how, let's just put it in the maximum amount of money we can and just keep multiplying it. So now it's like, all right, let's throw 100K in, right? Now we're looking through a three to five X return on ad spend. So that means we turn $100,000 in hypothetically in this scenario with a three to five X return on ad spend. We turn 100K into 300K or up into 500K. Now, if we even have a higher return or we spend more than 100K, you're looking at even higher numbers. I mean, obviously, if we have people doing, you know, we've worked with people doing a million a month, they're they're spending more than 15 to 30K per month. They're spending six figures a month, okay? The more you spend on ads, the more money you're going to get out. And that's why ads are just favored by all the top dogs because it's just putting a dollar in and getting money out. It's literally a printer. So if you're doing anything else other than setting that up, you're just, why are you running a business? You just shouldn't even be running a business. So after we turn hundred K into 300 to 500 K in an ideal scenario, I'm not saying it's going to happen every time. And by the way, if for whatever reason, uh, our investors and our team were to invest hundred K into your vehicle and we lost the hundred K, which obviously having all this dialed in, that's very unrealistic to do. I'm just saying, let's just say hypothetically it did happen right? If that happened, you don't owe us anything. That's us. We're taking the risk. The investor is taking the risk. And that's why also we get upside, but you don't have to pay us back. You don't have to worry about that. We're fronting the capital. We're building the entire sales department. We're assisting you with the paid uh, ads and actually getting appointments. So basically entire acquisition process, we're taking the risk. It's not on you as the, as the business owner, but we want your help. Obviously it's your business, your baby, but it's not, it's not on you if we lost our money for any way, shape, any way, shape, or form. So this is what would happen. You get your percentage. What we would want you to do at this point, if you're, if you're having us do literally everything where we're doing your entire sales department and we're doing your media buying, 
all we really want you to do is content and slash overview and like the general putting things together and you know your market the best. So we want you to kind of give us that information and insight and then fulfillment. And now fulfillment, you could even delegate that. You could hire people. If you have a bunch of money, like which obviously, I mean, if we're at this level and we're throwing a bunch of money in, you have money. <laughs> so let's just hire people to do your fulfillment too. That's not a problem, right? And especially if you're selling like a course, that's not hard at all. It's just go through the information, right? And give them a nice CSM. That's literally it. Um, and if you're not doing this, you're like, I don't want to do anything. Then why are you even building a business? Work for me or someone else. Like you shouldn't even be running a business. Like you're going to have work to do, right? You could delegate majority of it to where you're barely doing anything. But the idea of you just doing nothing makes no sense. Otherwise, we're just going to fire you. Even though it's your business, we couldn't literally fire you. But I'm just saying, hypothetically, if you're doing nothing, what's the point in working with you versus just scaling up our own businesses or other businesses doing more revenue than you? You know what I'm saying? Um, and then obviously our investors get a percentage because they provided the capital. And then our team gets a percentage because we handle the entirety of acquisition. We're helping you with your media buying. We're literally managing and building your entire commission-based sales team, right? We're doing your entire everything A to Z from getting a lead to getting cash in the bank. And so that's why we're getting our percentage. And you're getting your percentage because you're doing content like the ad creatives or the VSL, which you could even outsource that. And if you want to hire people to do that as well, you could. Um, and then the high level overview and connecting the dots and then fulfillment, which you could also pay other people to do that for you as well. And then our percent, our investors, obviously they're getting a percentage because they're throwing the capital. Why would they just give you hundred K without getting a percentage back? Duh. <laughs> so that's how that works. Um, if you guys have any questions, just ask and, uh, hopefully this video helps you and give you guys perspective. And honestly, I know if you're below hundred K per month, this just taught you a bunch and it's going to save you a bunch of time, um, when you're trying to grow your business. So with all that being said, guys. See you guys on the other side as we bring this way. Peace.